We get, we get, no, we don't have fire protection down there. Oh, right, because I trashed the other fire station accidentally. Um, so. So this is the other new building, right? It's kind of weird. It doesn't give you a thing, but I think that's the other new building. I don't remember. But yeah, they're super not in favor of this. Oh yeah, we don't have enough money. So I think we'll have to wait longer. Now, as soon as the density in this area changes, we're going to have a ton more money. Maybe what I should just do is pay out of pocket for the density change. And then come back later and do the roads through the city. Ooh, tax proposal. Economy's looking good, so Christian Democratic Party votes for a middle class tax cut. Nope. Oh, people are going to do it. I don't cut taxes! All right, I'm going to modify it to high density. Confirm. They're not willing to do that anyway. And I'm going to... Um, oh, not quite pay for it out of pocket because it's slightly too much. Never mind. But that's my plan. I'm going to pay for the density change out of pocket, get some more people in here, um, get a higher tax base, and then... I mean, our, our money in the city keeps going up too. Do I really want to play $2 million? Hmm... Just change the roads. I mean, we could do that. I don't know how much of a difference it'll make by itself. So how's this coming along? This is coming along well. Do I maybe... Is there another edict I might be interested in passing? Eavesdropping. I wonder if we can spy better. <laughs> if we do that. What would this do? Decrease personal growth. Increases security. Parties would actually be pretty much in uh, in favor of this, which is interesting. Endorse physical education, actually. Costs us um, a little bit per month, but hardly anything. And is a pretty big boost to health for students. You know what? Let's go and do this. We should have done this ages ago. And yeah, everyone's in favor of that. There is absolutely no Paperless office! There will be a revolution in the office over the next 20 years. What we are doing will change the office like the jet plane... Let's get some solidarity over here. We can get even better schools or something. Paperless office decision. With the advent of computers, a lot of talk about how office work will be revolutionized. Everyone hates dealing with tons of paper and huge archives. Your city administration is therefore planning how to best implement the paperless office in the public sector. Ban fax machines! They are bullshit. Have all archives digitalized or digitalize regular communications. Oh, this would uh, help us pass some sort of electronic mail edict which would decrease change in monthly city fund expenses by 10%? I bet you we could pass that normally, though. I didn't realize that was a thing. You know what? Let's just, just do, do it, because that sounds like a way awesome thing. And actually, a lot of people would have been opposed to it, but um, almost certainly now, because of the boost to it, they will approve. But in the, the pop-up, it was showing us that actually a lot of people would have been opposed to email. So there we go. Mm hmm Surgical hygiene would be important. Oh, yeah! Is that something I can pass? Well, all right, modify taxes. Begin voting. This is the middle class tax cut coming in. I think it was, oh yeah, 2%. Uh, I could have overruled it, but you know, it's fine. That's not what I'm gonna use my, my, my prestige on. Edicts. Surgical hygiene. Yeah, we will propose that. Does sound very important. Um, Communist Party. I mean, this is this is something that's good for the people. You totally want this. I'm going to demand. Opposing this makes them seem like a right-wing party. Oh, hit them where it hurts. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then the, uh, the Central Party over here. Um, I would like to be gentle about this. This will create a new future. Oh, they were quite receptive to that, actually. Good. So now that we have more money, again, we might be able to, to pass more things over here. The arms industry is booming. Oh, that's good news. Hmm. 
modify districts now, plenty money. Okay, I'm just hitting the point now, like that, where I can go and fund the district change by itself, but out of curiosity. There we go, yeah. See, they're not as opposed to it because we're not we're not bleeding money. Telephones, waste bins, traffic lights, bus network, phone booths, they'll be obsolete later on. Um, and most importantly, really good roads. Okay. Um, I'm going to pass this without the new buildings. Because it's going to be expensive enough as is. Uh, we'll use a we'll use a normal vote. Oh, the back doors. Popular American rock band called the Back Doors want to perform in Quilopolis. Their music is kind of strange, even dangerous, with psychedelic songs like the hit "Fight My Tire." <laughs> but young people seem to like it. You're allowed a performance. Yeah, of course we do. There we go. More fun for the youth. Oh yeah, the, the percentage of the zones. Yeah, we'll take another look at that. Uh, I'll probably try to create a new zone relatively soon. Um, 99, nine. if I can just... Oh, we just got a tip in. I'll take a look in a second. Most citizens will agree with this. Slight bit of goodwill over here. We might have to come back and do a little bit more. Wackadoo. Ah, it's Rommelson! Hey! Hey, Rommels! I oh, love the Urban Empire stream. I found your YouTube uploads from the Sid Meier's Pirate stream last year and having a blast watching them. Oh, God, it was so good. It's one of my favorite games as a kid. Yes, absolutely. Um, Sid Meier's Pirates is such a solid freaking game. It's so good. And challenging, too. It's really, really quite good. Um, yeah, we'll have, we're going to take another whack at this to put down some buildings, and we'll look at, at modifying the zoning at that point. Um, I don't remember if there was anything else. Again, it would be nice if there was some sort of... There's not like um, a city... Like, institution screen, is there? Because that would be really handy-dandy. Infrastructure. No, it's not that. Because, like, pending upgrades for institutions would be a, such a good little interface. Because I'm willing to bet that there's something... Oh, uh, there was something for the power plant. Right here. There we go. Uh, 4,000... 4 million to build. There you go. People are going to approve it. They don't realize that they're approving two things that is going to cost a lot of money simultaneously, but that's okay. Uh, do the Twin City again. Uh, do the port. It's OP. Oh, okay. So, um, where was the port? I think it was Sydney. So, we need a new Twin City, so I guess you do it once for every age. If we do it here instead of the university. Start planning Twin City delegation to Sydney. Make it very clear to everyone. This trip is to gather new ideas on how services could be improved back at home. Therefore, make sure that decision makers from all levels are included, so whatever ideas come up can be implemented. You focus on quality of services, efficiency in how things run, how to get citizens to participate more, versatility of services. Do you guys do you have an opinion about how we want to improve our port? <laughs> Just waiting for catch or chat to catch up. What do you want for our port with the Twin City? Quality service, efficiency, quality, get citizens participate. Quality, quality, quality service, quality, efficiency. Quality services we're going to go with. So this is going to cost us 50 grand, but quality bonus for the port goes up to plus two. For whatever that means, for the rest of this era. Okay. So that's going to be a thing. Solidarity. As society becomes more wealthy, people start caring more and more about others' well-being. Consciousness about the fortunes of others, both within and outside Swarelia, is growing. How do you think this growth, growing goodwill should be shared? Voluntarily, public sector, non-government organizations. Um, one of these, I don't know which one, triggered this protects copyright. So that was it's not very helpful. Um... Wow, which apparently is all good stuff. Yes, that makes sense. I think that was one of the most over public sector, so we're going to do that. I might be wrong. Um, goodwill from the pacifist party, and the default position pacifist goes up as well. I don't think we did the uh, the Copyright Act. Mayoral elections are closing in again. we got a million things going on simultaneously. So many proposals. Um, modify taxes. What is this one for? They want to raise pro taxes on the middle class. That's the communists are in favor. Everyone else is opposed. I don't think we're going to get involved. Uh, 
Um, okay, we're voting on things. So, health of students. Oh, yes, this is the physical education, which we're going to endorse. Wonderful. Easily pass. Get a health boost. S uh, surgical hygiene is going to... Woo! What? This will not stand. I mean, most likely they were going to go anyway, but I'm going to, like, demand. Uh, by not following, you'll lose a lot of voters. So, I mean, I mean, you've got priority. Some of them are locked in over here, but there's a lot of undecideds. I'm going to go and yell at the, the Christians here as well. Oppose this issue, you oppose prog progress. Okay, I think that'll be fine. Um, let's begin this vote. Okay, we're not overkilling it by too much, but I may have been able to save... Yeah, well, actually, that was a fair overkill. Electronic mail. People are super in favor of that now because, well, it was a decision that was made from a pop-up, so that's going to go through almost entirely in our favor. Excellent. So what I want to do, since we still have cash for now, um, although I should probably wait until some of these things kick in, especially we've modified the density in district, which I think might increase our expenses short term until people move in. I want to make a new district, um, but it's like industrial, probably a pure industrial district, actually, like way off in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we are going to vote on modifying this district, which is going to go through, but it will be tight. And we're going to upgrade an institution, which is easily going to go through, but it is going to spend a lot of money. That being said, our monthly balance is pretty darn good. So now what does our monthly balance do? Seven social sins. Does dip, but not too bad. Politics. Solidarity is kicked in. Free hearing aids, child allowance, community college. Probably upgrading that sooner rather than later is really good. Ooh, accessibility. Let's do this. Traffic light is sound. Wheelchair accessibility, that sounds really good. Ooh, local TV. Yeah, let's do some of this. We'll try to get some accessibility going on in our city. So, we still have some cash. Oh, modify taxes. So, they're uh, the communists are attempting to raise taxes on the middle class, uh, which isn't going to work. I'm just going to let it go through as is and not get involved. Petra. <laughs> We need some sort of t-shirt or a hat or something. Like a pro-Petra something. Tax proposal. Moderate party want to lower taxes. No! <laughs> Damn it. My the, the city and the economy is going too well. They're like, we don't need all these taxes. I'm like, no, I want to spend more money. Let me spend more money. Alright. So yeah, I'm going to make sort of an industrial zone over here. District too large, is it really? Come on, I'm gonna get to line up with the other roads. There we go. Confirm land plan. Maximum density. Um, no residential whatsoever, actually. And then the actual percentage numbers don't really matter because it gets shared otherwise, but yeah. So 75% industrial, 25% commercial over here. Um, actually, I'm wondering about pure, pure industrial area. Pure industrial area. Let's do it. Um, you will need water and electricity and telephone to run businesses. You're going to need proper roads. We're going to do that right away. It's going to be fine. Oh, fuck. People are opposed to it. Probably because it would actually put us into debt if we were to do this. I suppose they could hold off and just pass this stuff later. You know, just dirt roads for now, then. And no telephone? No water? No, we're going to have to just come back. Well, we actually might be able to pass this. And once it's populated, go back and do more. I think I should just wait. Well, you're right. I could plant it initially. Well, no. The, the value there is the value only for the infrastructure. Overall, this is going to be like a 5 or $6 million district with without even any infrastructure buildings. Oh, not in my backyard. Whitburg is a safe and pleasant place to live, but all plans of adding civil council services to the area are facing force, fierce opposition. Residents of Whitburg fear anything that could cause unrest or lower the price of their houses. How do you respond? Uh, we're going to scold them for being selfish. Oh, they're actually getting a bonus to social life. All right, then. Communist Party wins the election. What? 
Seriously? All right. It's a new era, guys. We're going to have an election going on over here. Um, Hippy dippy guy. I... I'm sorry, are the Christians voting for me? So now that the fascists are gone, it's the Christians that are voting for me. Well, I mean, they must really not like the hippie. It looks like we're actually going to win as is here, so I don't think I'm going to have to do anything. We'll revisit it. Council is ready to vote on modifying the taxes. Whatever, I'm not going to get involved. So I think they're dropping taxes here. I have a lot of goodwill. So that's nice. I'm wondering actually just a rezoning in this Whitberg might be the best way to... Like, it's weird because does not does this not look like industrial zones? Maybe not. It actually... Well, because the color coding doesn't apply here. I'm betting it's a bunch of residential and no one wants to live here. The easiest thing to do is probably for us to restructure Whitburg. Actually. Yeah, that's a lot of residential. And we're just going to get rid of it. No more residences in Whitburg. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to go to high density. So this by itself would cost 2.1 million, which we could do out of personal funds. That's true. The question is, is there anything else we want to do? Uh, we don't need anything for here. And actually, people would be willing to do it because it's not that expensive as is. Uh, we don't have a swimming hall yet, but I don't know. If, I mean, I could put it down here, I suppose. Or we do have one swimming hall. So I don't think I'm going to bother with that, though. Um, and we've got the area in the north is covered by a fire station. Indeed it is. What's some of the lowest stuff? Well, the healthcare and the environment is a little bit low. Uh, the security is as well. And you know what? The, this park here is actually going to be quite helpful and boost the environment up here. I'm going to go and get a park in the middle of this industrial zone to try to offset some of the horribleness. There we go. That's what we're going to do. Man won't go away even if you create a new district. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming once the buildings go in, there'll be some balance thing. But this is going to be okay. I don't know. We'll see. You don't need services in business areas, only a few upgrades. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I want the park in there. Shush, it's fine. <laughs> I can do what I want. Makes plans to ninja my Tuke? No! Tax proposal. They want to lower taxes for commercial companies. I'm going to pose on principle but it's still going to go through. Damn it! How can I tax and spend if they won't let me tax? Accessibility! Yeah! All right. Um, environmentalism. Well, we're going to hold off on that a little bit longer. Um, freedom of information. Mobile communications! Oh, cell phones! Let's do that. Now, let's go and pass some edicts. Oh, accessibility. Oh! We had a decision right away. With increasing wealth, there's also concern about those with special needs. How should pensioners and others who are physically handicapped be taking into consideration traffic safety, handicapped parking, building accessibility, public wheelchair accessibility, or through free services, a free elderly care? Well, we're going for building accessibility. It's going to be basically, uh, what's harder to pass? This might be the hardest, but I'm going to do this. I want. You know, it's important that you know buildings be accessible with ramps and stuff. That is key. Mm-hmm. Modify taxes. Oh! Alright. Oh, it's because the communists are proposing another tax hike. That's why people are so against that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Da, da, da. Car repair. Ah, oh, that sucks. Wheel of Life only affects residents, while commercial and industrial requires the infrastructure upgrades to level up. Kind of like counterintuitive design. No street lights needed in industrial. Oh. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah. Well, all right. So, we're going to get a wheelchair accessibility. That's great. Boop. Then, we're going to modify our district to high density up Whitburg and make it, like, a non-residential area. And then someone is lowering taxes somewhere. 
and that's okay. Okay, and we still have cash. Oh, oh, the, the new mayor. Yes, which we are going to... What? Did it not look like we had a fav... Overrule. <laughs> Overrule. Did it not look like we have way more people in favor of us being mayor? Oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. We, um... We, we, we recounted the votes. That's all. No fraud here. Shut up. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is okay. Nothing to see here. <clears throat> oh, mobile communications. Uh, although the telephone has conquered the world in centuries since Bell has invented it, the dream of wireless communications never died. Thanks to the effort put into satellite development, mobile communications are growing ripe for wider use. Which direction should we take this technology? Phones or transportation? Phones. I, I don't know. Phones. Sure, it's fine. Mobile phone base station. I bet you there's probably more upgrades. Oh, you got to get the exhibition, exhibition center down. So I think this is the communist uh, tax vote, which isn't going to go through. I'm officially a dictator. Hooray! This is why the Nazis liked you. <laughs> uh, some of the votes for you were just sticking together and you didn't notice until now. That's right. That's all it was. <laughs> ah, great stuff. Still have money. We're still making money. I still have enough money to make some changes myself. So this is still relatively residential, so it's going to need some services here. Alright, we are... That's going to pass with ease. Wonderful. Nice to see this. So we're no longer going to classify homosexuality as a disease, leading to great awesomeness for all people everywhere. Huge win. Okay. Oh yeah, see happiness all over the place. If we take a look at our state laws, again, I think the civil rights is just bugged for us at this point. And honestly, more things might be as well. Well, no, that's probably environmentalism actually over here. Business laws protect copyrights. Um, we didn't pick the decision that led to that, which means it might not ever advance there. And I'm a little concerned about that. I don't know. Yeah, which institutions can I upgrade, I wonder? Not you. Not you. Yeah, see, they should, like, turn gold or something on the screen if there are upgrades available for these guys. Oh, university. Uh, I thought you had one pending, but I guess not. Courthouse. We might be... I don't know. We might be fully caught up on our upgrades. Uh, was there one more for the water, maybe? Because we got we got the power. Um, the port is done. The water... I think I already checked. Yeah, I did do that. There's no more institutions over there. Um, but there's one to build. I can build the exhibition center. It's going to cost $5 million. The maintenance is pretty low, though. I bet you we could get this passed with ease. So, I don't know. I'll put it... Um, I'll put it here. Green spot that's not being used for anything because I think it's a residential area. So, personal growth, uh, social, and fun. And we can upgrade it right away. So, everyone's super in favor of this. So, we're going to pass this instantly. Should mass propose all beneficial edicts now? Oh, maybe. Uh, we got a tip in from Zwinkadink. Thank you very much. Uh, been watching you for a while. Learned a lot from KSP videos. Finally able to catch you live streaming. Ah, oh, well, that's wonderful. More people should play uh, KSP. Um, people are voting to modify taxes, which I probably won't get involved with. We have to ban social media so the dictator doesn't get out. <laughs> uh, try the radio tower. I thought I clicked on the radio tower. No, no, no. We've got it upgraded to the TV station already. Um, I think it's... I think it might be when mobile communications finishes. Here is our vote on the exhibition center, which we are going to pass with ease. We're going to tell people how awesome our science is. That's what we're going to exhibit here. Um, right here. We're going to upgrade you instantly. Uh, or not, because we don't have the money. Um, to the science center. So we're going to wait on that a little bit. Apparently we love our own cell phones. Oh, everyone's happy everywhere. Because everyone's got cell phones now. They're, they're big ones. They're really big, fat cell phones. But that's okay. 
It'll get better. Um, mass media, local TV station. Oh, that's an, that's another upgrade for the um, um, the tower here. Oh, you know it's after three. Can't believe we've been streaming three hours nonstop, not a single break here, which is so bad for me. I got to get better at taking breaks. This is basically bringing us to the end of the um, the single player portion of today's stream here. Right, the gears. Yes, the, I know the gears are the tech, uh, the um, the infrastructure ones, and then I keep forgetting, and I think they're infrastructure ones or um, institution ones. Boom. So that's another vote that's not going to go through. Maybe I could have influenced this one way or another, but that's okay. Yeah, they can do whatever they want. Well, no, they can't. I'm just giving them the illusion of free choice. Uh, oh, skate park. The youths of Central uh, Center Quill are having fun skateboarding, but residents are complaining about noise. To solve this, youths have proposed turning an old playground into a skate park, but residents nearby object. We can grant funding. We can allow the park, but don't get funding. Allow it. No, we're going to allow funding for this. It's fine. Over here, we never did get the new roads in here, right? So, oh, no, we did. Your road capacity is fine. High density. Right, we were going to maybe change the zoning balance here, or um, put in, like, a few more services down here. We do need more health, and more security, and more social. To me, that says a park. I don't suppose... Um, so where is it? The large park. See, it gives you a lot of everything. If I place a large park right here, these are just, yeah, these are just buildings. Like, just houses. If I do that, we're going to easily pass this, which sounds swell. Was there more infrastructure that we unlock? Tram line, police... I mean, I could get more public or, uh, public transportation here. Oh, level 2 traffic lights. Oh, those are probably the ones with sound. Yes. Beep boop. Beep boop. I want the beep boop. Mobile phone base station. That's the other thing we unlocked. So this gives personal growth, security, and social life to the entire district. Cost a million to put in, but the maintenance is really reasonable. Let's add that in. Bus network with LEDs. Physical environment to the district. More environment. Um, and we'll likely make a change to traffic if we implement various things. There we go. Let's do it. Not adding gas. Um, is there anything else? I mean, the park was going to help with some of the numbers over here, which is going to be good. I think we're good. Confirm that. Propose. Uh, we're just going to use the quick and vote because people are going to be super happy with doing that, and we're going to keep our personal funds for now. All right, so... <laughs> 1953 LED. We've had, we had satellites in 1937. So yeah, we're super advanced. Don't worry about it. We are going to have to put a cut in here. This is going to be the end of the single player live stream for today. If you just came out for Urban Empire, hey, I thank you for doing that. I had a hoot. Um, maybe we will have to stream it one more time so that we can finish the game in the next age or something like that. We'll see. Um, it'll come down mostly to uh, what people say they're most interested in. So uh, we'll see that then. Um, we are going to switch over to some multiplayer. We are going to be playing some Team Fortress 2 today with subscribers. Um, if you want to join in, well, I'm going to be emailing all the subscribers with the information on how to join in at that point, um, as well as... Uh Oh, make sure that your Team Fortress 2 is patched. If you just came out for the single player, that's totally okay. If you want to stick around for the Team Fortress 2, I'm going to get a little drink, and we're going to have a good time. So, thanks for coming out. Next live stream should be tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Time for Sunday Morning Heroes. Hopefully that will work out this week. It should. Um, otherwise, it's going to be on Wednesday where we continue our Civilization VI run. So, short break. I will email subscribers with the um, TF2 server information, and we'll come back with some multiplayer and a drink. See you there.